Hi everybody, I'm back in the studio and I want to show you a quick hack that's great for plein air painting uh, for doing barns. Uh, this was a painting I did using that hack and I'll show you uh, how I made some of the marks that you see here. So I've got a nice piece of paper. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Okay, good. Let's get it centered. Looking good. So my tools today, uh, in addition to a brush, are going to be pieces of cardboard. They can be mat board. They can be chipboard. This is some kind of packing paper. I'm going to take uh, a brush, and it doesn't matter what I had to reach for a brush. It doesn't matter what brush you use. And I'm going to put some paint on the brush and put some of the paint on the edge of my cardboard. And I'm going to use that. Not enough paint there. There we go. Now this is very absorbent. Uh, I'm going to use that to make my edges. Isn't that handy? It's very quick and fast. You can probably, sh let's go bigger. All right, let's go bigger. Again, you got to get the paint on here. You have to use some, it, well it works better I think probably with the uh, matte board than the chipboard, but right now I got the chipboard going, so we're going to do this. You got some verticals. I can use, well they're not quite vertical are they, but it doesn't matter, I don't think. Is that going to be too long? If you need a special size, you can just grab your scissors and cut it off to the size you need. Again, because these, and if they wear out, you just get rid of them. a smaller piece. Okay, it doesn't have to be blue obviously, but uh, it's fine. Okay, so once you put that on, you can come back. You can use just wet of your brush to make that under eave shadow. It's pretty fast, right? We can have the shadow side. And then you can go merrily on your way painting uh, the rest of your painting. Now, I wanted to show you another thing you can do with this cardboard and that is you can cut an edge here. I just made several notches. They're fairly even and I can put it in the paint. I'm just going to dip it in my blue again and you can draw it down to make your siding. Of course you could do it the other way too. And less paint, more paint, it doesn't matter. It gives you a nice siding. It's very fast, very simple. You can 
do it horizontally if you need horizontal siding, you know, it's however it goes, however you want to do it. You can also use this to do your tree trunks. And cut a larger piece. This is mat board. This might work a little better. And this gives you a little bit of the feeling of bark. Dirty brush, but You can use the uh, piece of mat board to move the paint around. Also, in making trees or other shapes, if we Pull some paint out. And as I said, if you want to do it again, if you want to get it darker. So this is a handy thing to use uh, to uh, make your siding. Now another way you can do it is you can make your distances between uh, the notches, make your notches larger I'm trying to cut it here as quickly as I can. Okay, so what you can do with this is if you want a fence, let's try that. You can make a fence. You can have the um, slats be, uh, you can just draw in the slats, or you can do them again this way. But it's a very fast way to make fencing, to make, um, depending on how you make your cuts on your cardboard to make, like, bark feeling to make the siding on a barn. It's cheap, quick, lightweight, and disposable. What do you think? Give it a try this week with your barn paintings. Be curious to see what you think about it. Talk to you later and thanks for watching. Bye now.